Hello everybody, this is Stefan Fry. I'm a goalkeeper for the Seattle Sounders and this is Shirts and Skins. My tattoo journey started in, I think it was freshman year in college, going uh, to UC Berkeley. And I grew up in Switzerland, so my very first tattoo was a Swiss crest on the inside of my left bicep. And uh, that's where my addiction started. So after the first one, it was a bit of a shock to my parents first, but uh, my parents were going through a divorce, so they weren't really gonna say anything at the time. So they both wanted to have the affection of of their, of their kids. Um, and uh, it was probably half a year until I got my next one, um, go, starting my obsession with Egyptian stuff and uh, kind of a motto I try to live, live by. It's called live and let live. And I had it translated by a professor at the university to make sure it was correct. But I got that on my, on my right ribs. My obsession with Egyptian stuff Probably started in college. I mean, uh, uh, going into college, I would have loved to start art, uh, study art. Uh, wasn't an option with soccer, so I wanted to do architecture, which would have been even worse. Um, so then for third option for me, it was like, you know what? Uh, maybe I'll become a modern day Indiana Jones, uh, go uh, become an archeologist somewhere in, in, in Egypt, uh, because that sounded cool. Um, and uh, just became kind of fascinated by Egyptian everything, mythology, um, art, everything. What makes getting tattoos an addiction? Um, I think it's, it's a few factors. Uh, one, as, a, as an artist myself, uh, I see a body as an empty canvas and uh, there's so many amazing artists out there. Uh, obviously you got to do your research, but um, for them to be able to put a, a, a nice piece of art on your body, I think it's, it's, it's pretty amazing. Um, and on the other hand, I think there's definitely something to be said about earning tattoos, you know, they're, they're especially bigger pieces are um, not a walk in the park. Uh, my back piece took uh, about three years to finish uh, countless eight hour sessions. Um, a lot of sweat and tears involved. So uh, uh, maybe there's something to be said about that too, making it an obsession that you have to earn them. Um, and and uh, there's a story behind them. There's, there's uh, memories behind them um, that kind of remind you maybe um, of, of what you went through during that time. My, and my favorite piece, uh, and I know my wife will be watching this, so I have to say, is probably getting my, my ring tattooed on my ring finger, uh, which was actually pretty painful on the inside of your hand. It's not, it's not much fun, but uh, as a goalkeeper, I obviously wear gloves every day. And so uh, to protect my fingers, I have to take off my ring um, every day. And I wanted to uh, make sure my wife didn't feel like I was doing it because I didn't want to wear my ring. Uh, so now it's always on me, no, no matter what. Um, another, another tattoo that uh, it, it maybe looks more like a piece of art but has something, some meaning behind it is uh, I have a scene from the Book of the Dead on my, on my left ribs. Um, and it's in particular um, the scene where um, Anubis and a bunch of other gods are, are weighing the heart against the feather um, of the deceased. To, to, to see how he did during his life, whether he's worthy of making it into the afterlife. Uh, afterlife. And it's a very colorful way of thinking about um, or rem reminding yourself, hey, um, even if people don't see it, um, your actions or um, what you do, your deeds are recorded. And, and so make sure what you do has weight. Um, and that's where the, the, the saying, why the heavy heart comes in, um, because try to have a, a, a heart as, uh, as weightless as a feather. Um, it's gonna be very difficult to do, but I think you should aspire to have that. Yeah, how do all my passions relate? I think, I think it's, a, it's a matter of balancing yourself out. Um, growing up as a kid, uh, people always said I was very creative. Um, I feel like as a goalkeeper, you don't really get to be creative at all. Um, everything is very precise. Um, your technique has to be spot on. I mean, we, we discuss up to, you know, uh, every footstep, everything has to have a purpose. There is no room for error. There's no room for freedom. Um, so for me, art, um, is the counterbalance to that. Um, it's a way or it's a form 
where you can make mistakes if you can even call them that. Something crazy, you can do something crazy and something cool can, can come out of it. Um, I would argue that my keeper coach doesn't want me to do anything crazy um, because chances are it will, it will end up bad. So again, it's just a balancing for me. Um, and tattoos is, is the same thing, you know, it's, a, it's an addiction, it's a, it's, it's a process, something that you have to be committed to. Maybe that's the goalkeeper again coming through. But it's also something kind of a bit more organic because I'm surrendering to another artist who, who does his thing. So it's a cool balance. I think every tattoo again has a, has a story um, and, and you know smaller ones are, are, are easier to get through um, when you're talking about a, a, the size of a big back piece that took me about three plus years um, it, it's different you know you don't have one particular moment to look back or uh, the tattoo reminding you of one particular moment because it took such a long long time but uh, I think it's a it's a commitment um, that you put put into the, uh, uh, a tattoo of that size. Um, maybe just like a goalkeeper again, um, staying with it, sticking with it, keeping on working and believing in uh, the outcome um, or that you're gonna, you know, really see something come out of it and be, be happy with it, um, something to be proud of. And uh, when you believe, I believe in my artists that, that I've used and, and my, my current artist is amazing, uh, Adam, Art, uh, Adam at Artcore Studio in uh, Georgetown um, and, and you know I let him do his thing and in the beginning you know you put the, the stencil on or you put the outline on and already it's like wow it looks amazing but it's a long ways to go um, but you got to trust in his ability and you, you see it all the way through and what you end up with is an amazing piece of art. So my back piece is um, a skull and it's a, it's a pharaoh skull. Um, it's, it's a, a pharaoh that reigns supreme. He has um, a vulture as well as a cobra on his headgear, which means he, he's ruling over a lower and upper uh, Nile River. Um, so the ultimate ruler, if you will. Um, he's got some geometric things under his eyes that are kind of happening, which almost makes him look like he's a little bit of a sorcerer as well. Something mystical happening. Um, but he's always got my back. Uh, you know, I, I, I tend to not look back at the past. Um, I think, uh, you know, there's things that happen in your life and you can look back and say, what, what if this would have been different or, or whatnot? I never do that. Um, and I've, although it was not the intention in the beginning, I, I feel like this Pharaoh is kind of looking, looking back at those previous things and just keeping them away, telling it, no, don't, don't creep up uh, and, and cloud my, my judgment that I made or the things that the journey I'm on right now. Uh, it's kind of like keeping that away and, and uh, allowing me just to look forward. I mean, tattooing for me, and, and this is the thing, I think tattooing, it really depends on what generation you grew up in. I think uh, um, the acceptance of tattoos, of people having tattoos in visible places too, has, has grown tremendously over the years. So um, everybody's gonna have their own opinion about what tattoos are. Some people think they're stupid, other people think they're amazing. Some people can't understand why you would cover your body and that's totally fine. Um, I think, I think one, one aspect that people don't realize is, and, and it's maybe that's just for me, again, my opinion, um, but you build a real connection with your artist too. Um, and, and it's very important for me that the place where I do get tattooed, I feel comfortable. Um, I feel like I'm around people that I like and it almost turns into a, and this is my artist says it all the time, he feels like he's a shrink. You know, because uh, it's an outlet. Um, it's it's a place where you definitely bond with your artist because you're doing this this very intimate experience thing together. Um, and and some, sometimes you become good friends. Um, I mean, playing video games with with my my tattoo guy all the time. So he's he's a uh, I enjoy my time with him. And it's not just get the tattoo and get out of there. I think if if you haven't really experienced what it means to get a tattoo you'd be surprised uh, at what actually goes on when you do get one. Um, I think one thing that people don't realize with tattoos also, and that's why I said you have to earn them, is uh, it's painful. Um, you know, my, my wife wants to get her sleeve too. She thinks she, she could do it, but we got matching tattoos when we were married, uh, what is it now, six years ago. Um, and mine took about two minutes and she got the same size and it probably took 25 minutes because she was in so much pain. So. Um, 
think twice about it before you open that door because it is an addiction. Once you open it, I think you're, you're going to be in there for a long time in that addiction, but also be prepared for, for, for what comes with it. <laughs>